Hello everybody, Mr. Kaczynski with you, working on Section A in IXL's Algebra 1 skills, cube roots today. Five examples for you. What's the cube root of 27? Well, the cube root of 27 is 3. I'll tell you why. It's because 3 cubed, um, also known as 3 times 3 times 3, is 27. That's why the cube root of 27 is 3. Another way to write that is like this. This says, what is the cube root of 8? And the cube root of 8 is 2. The reason being because 2 cubed, 2 times 2 is 4, times another 2 is 8. So that's why the cube root of 8 is 2. All right, you can take cube roots of negatives. Um, so we might look at something like this, um, like this. Let's see, negative 5 to the third power is negative 125, that's a little bit too far left of negative 94 on the number line. And negative 4 cubed, negative 4 times negative 4 is 16, and 16 times negative 4 is negative 64. So that's why this is between negative 5 and negative 4. Negative 5 and negative 4. The cube root of negative 94 lies somewhere between those two integers. All right, um, what about this? It's basically asking the same question. Um, use integers that are closest to this number. Well, I know that uh, negative six cubed is negative 216. Calculator helps you if you don't have cubes memorized. I don't have too many of them memorized. And like I just said before, negative five cubed is negative 125. So that's why I'm gonna say that um, negative the cube root of negative 206 is greater than negative 6 and it's less than negative 5. All right, and I will show you how to use the calculator too to do this. Uh, maybe this is a good example of when we could. Um, what's the cube root of 601? Well, um, we'll use this button right here. Your scientific calculator probably has something like it. Um, cube root of 601. Oops. There we go. It's 8.4-ish, about 8.4. All right, so that's all there is to cube roots. The opposite of cubing something. Good luck. Let me know how it goes.